Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to be making a vanilla sandalwood um, rebatch, and um, I'm going to be playing around with the colors a little bit because I recently made an oatmeal soap, and I don't want an all beige soap, so I'm going to sneak in some warm colors on this one, but I'm still not exactly sure how I'm going to do it because the vanilla portion of the pour uh, also browns a bit, so there's a lot to deal with here, and um, well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it'll turn out. So um, let's get started with the soap. That was a very simple, not very complicated color scheme today. So uh, let's just explain what I'm going to do. I'm using the vanilla, so I know I'm going to have some browning. So no use fighting it. So sometimes what I like to do just to make the brown a little more interesting is to add a little bit of warmth to it. In this case, adding a little orange to it, so I might do that. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but uh, you know, I want to do some swirls, I want some differentiation in colors, so I'm going to also have an ochre. So that's mainly yellow there. A good way to get an ochre is to mix a little bit of brown in that. So I'm debating the. Um, how to mix the fragrances because I know that the vanilla that I use um, changes the color to like a caramel color. I may just use the yellow with that fragrance and it should be like an ochre color. And then probably an orange. I want them to be earth tones because of the fragrance. That's Sandalwood is a really earthy color. So um, the only thing there is that I don't really have something of a uh, dark value. So I'm still debating. I might be using a little bit of black just to get some differentiation in the swirl. So I'm kind of leaving this um, in the general uh, area of these colors, but I may decide to change some colors uh, as I work with the soap. So I generally have some idea of what it's going to be like so that when I want to be spontaneous I'm still sort of in a range that has been calculated to some extent. There's a color tutorial for what that's worth today and let's get started with the soap. Okay, I'm just going to blend the oils, milk some clay, And we'll do the line, speed everything up. Okay, I don't need this batch to be quite as liquid, so I'm going to blend more when I do my fragrances and colors. Okay, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I split my two fragrances. Um, I split them up because one of them browns and the other does not. And what I'm going to do is put the one that doesn't brown in the two lighter colors, which is a deep ochre and a white. And the other two colors are a brown and a rusty red. And I think that will capture the feeling of sandalwood pretty well. So let me split these off. I haven't added any fragrance yet. And I'm going to equally divide this. Pretty well divided. I need to get the fragrance in there before I forget which is which. So those are my lighter ones. Sandalwood. That smells great. And the vanilla. And this vanilla doesn't turn things real dark brown, but it does turn it brown a little bit. Mix those up a little bit. And I'm going to do a hanger swirl today because I want my soaps to look different and I haven't done a hanger swirl in a while. So 
looks like there's not going to be any shortage of color in this sandalwood soap. Okay, so lots of color, but they're all in the earth color range. Let's stir these up. And I ran out of my brown colorant, but by using opposite colors, I got myself a nice rich brown. All right, let's get my mold. I left my hanger in my mold to remind me to use it. There have been times where I'm absent-minded. I know that never happens to you all, but it happens to me. I think I'll start with this reddish color. And I'm not going to be really careful to get them in nice layers. And then I want to go with the lightest color, which is the white. I think the white, though, I will scoop in. Then I'll go to the next darkest, which is this brown. It might be the darkest. Just pour that in. It's going to be part drop swirl. This ochre color. White again. The rest of this. Keeping some of this for the top. Then pound this down and then use the hanger. I want some close swirls on this. Should be good. Okay, let's work on the top. Save the white for the last. brown. And the white. Let me get this out of here. Alright, let's pound this down. Okay, and it's been a while since I did a texture top, so I think I'm going to do that. But not too high. Yeah, I think I'm happy with um, the colors in there. They're all earth colors, so there'll be some nice swirls. It's not all beige. And uh, it smells good. I think it's compatible with the sandalwood and vanilla. So that's the making of Vanilla and Sandalwood. And thanks for watching again. And I'll get another video to you soon, but let me show you the cutting first. Okay, let's cut into this now. Just do the end piece first. Still so impressed with this new 
soap cutter. Just love it. So, yeah, I really like how this turned out. I wanted something that looked a little different than the latest swirls. And I like that all the colors are um, compatible and um, different. So I've got the white that has the sandalwood in it. And the lighter color that has the um, sandalwood in it. And the two darker colors that has the uh, vanilla in it. Gotta learn. Remember to wipe off that wire. What's that one? I used a little bit more titanium dioxide in this one too because I wanted a real crisp white. Some soaps it doesn't matter as much to me, but I wanted the really stark contrast between the browns and the white. I really like the uniformity of the bars with this cutter as well. And I like how this ochre color turned out to be really like a caramel color. This is my last cut. So the hardest thing about planting colors like this is that, you know, the fragrances sometimes change color. And to allow for that and hoping that the colors are still compatible and so I'm quite relieved that these look the way they do. Thanks for watching again. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. And I'm not quite sure what the next soap will be yet. But uh, my mind's going to work on it. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.